always comes to like Rizfest. How far away is Rizfest from here? Um, he lives in the great town, uh, my town of Teaneck, New Jersey. I don't know what that is. It's very, very close. It's right across the bridge. So yeah, it's really close. Like Jen literally walks across the bridge, and then like Riz like picks him up. Oh, at, that's at, like a nearby, Yeah, like a nearby place, and like Jen lives really close to like the bridge on oh, the other okay. side as well. So you know, he's basically an honorary North Jersey member right now. Yeah. Well, speaking of Jen, he's nowhere to be seen here in Loser Senpai. So we got Venia versus Zane <laughs> happening right now. Bayo versus Greninja. Zane sitting in top four. You know, maybe if you get to sneak this win across Greninja, maybe the Bayo is what we need to combat Dill. I mean, that's very true. You know, as far as like, you know, like. But the thing is that, you know, like, as far as like, quote unquote, like, and I do say this, like, with emphasis, quote unquote, that bad matchups, bad DI, bad kills. Against Bayonetta. Was, I mean, that, that he does a lot of knockback. I was going to say. As far as, like, quote-unquote, like, bad matchups go against Bayonetta, Diddy does pretty well against Bayonetta, you know? But at the end of the day, it is still Bayo. Uh, it is pretty much theorized or generally accepted by some people that she really does not lose any matchups. So, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe a Bayo is what we need. Maybe today is Zane's time to shine. And it's looking like that might be the case so far. Again, that which time to the up smash to even out these stocks real quick up against Venia. So far, so good for both of these players right now. None, uh, none either too, uh, too far in the advantage. I think since Smash 4, it's like you're a good character if you have the ability to bring it back from the depths of defeat. And what characters can do that? We got Bayonetta can do that with Witch Time. No, Cloud can do that with Limit. Like, there's a lot of characters that have the ability to do that. Sure, you can from Ryu. And, but Greninja, still out here, catches him again with a different wow. move that time. He's using the special moves to get those kills. First it was a counter, then it was a shadow sneak. And both of these guys just nodding their head right now. They're just like, yeah, you know, I'm Venia. That's what I do. My, my name is Venia. I'm Venia. Look at him, look at him smiling. Wait, He's you're like, Venia? Yeah. Look at him smiling. He's like, yeah, I'm Venia. No, I'm not Venia. No. You just said, okay. No, I, I was being Venia. You were like, being Venia. I was like, I was, I was I make believe. I was like. Make believe. I was improvising. Oh, yeah, I would, got I, I would pretend. There. Smashville, here we go. Venia versus Zane in game numero dos. Here we go. Right, so right so off the bat, you thought he was going to like go for a jump there, catch him with the neutral air? Perhaps. So far, already looking pretty, uh, pretty, pretty right now. But Zane slowly but surely fighting his way back a little bit, getting a clean 35. You know, putting uh, putting one percent rage on uh, on Venia right now. Take that. Getting him up, trying to juggle him with the up airs as well. Bayonetta's up air is just an amazing tool, not just for killing, but for juggling as well. Such a such a good coverage option. Bayonetta, I believe, is canonically eight feet tall. And that does carry through to this game as well. She's got those long, like, slender legs. And they're powerful, too. So, you know, she's just going to be swinging those around up in the air with that up air, you know, just covering more landing options than you could ever really expect as that up air from uh, Greninja does not take the stock just yet. And Venia just doing what he does, going for... The down airs off the stage right there to confirm into a forward air. But just as I say that, Zane is going to answer right back with an up smash of his own, evening this game out completely. That was just uh, quite the turn of events. <laughs> yeah. I so myself, man. I was just about to say, like, you know, like, there's there's a certain flow of commentators where, like, whoa, whoa, it's your turn to talk. It's my turn to talk. And in my turn to talk, just, like, so much happened in the match. Just it both was, of these guys mm -hmm. just took each other out already. And now Benny is doing what he does best, man. Just dragging him down to the ground. Oh, he got oh. a kill. Almost got a kill off that. That was almost, it was disgusting, but it was almost like revolting. When Greninja drags down someone with up air, it's just oof. Yeah. It's good. It's definitely a big oof. It's some good stuff. It's some good stuff, if I've ever done to see some oh. stuff before. Tr trying to catch that witch twist into an afterburner kick. He was able to shadow sneak out. The okay. And Zane, literally dropping his jaw in awe of what just happened to him. I don't know if you saw the player cam right there. It just straight down. He's like, that spiked me. He immediately asked Venia about it. They're talking about it right now. Take a look at the bottom right corner, ladies and gentlemen, because that's where you're not only you're going to see the kill, it's where you're going to see Zane and his reaction. You saw the jaw drop. He didn't understand what just happened to him. He feels like as a grown-up, he deserves to know.